right, so basically this is the uh, this is part two of getting Slackware Linux installed with a USB key. I'm your host Kinesis, and I'm the Linux engineer tonight. But here's what the instructions entitled "Welcome Windows User" indicated me to do. Now, what this does is, is it basically sets the installation media, if you will, that's embedded on the flash drive to slash USB install. It mounts the flash drive properly to that. Because we just booted the flash drive, the kernel off the flash drive and the slash boot directory. But now we're actually mounting the entire file system. And by using the short name argument, we let the setup know that it's uh, installation media. So we're going to type, all, all my F disk is done. I decided I wanted, it was like a 20 gig hard drive. I, I designated 2.2 gigabytes of swap. Uh, I set the IDs and wrote the table. And then now we're going to run setup. So I'm going to add that swap. Or whatever. No, no bad luck. Yes, this is our target. This is called the target partition where we will install Linux. We will format it with the riser FS journaled file system. I hope that works on a 20 gig. Well, I hope that was a good decision, but that's what I usually use. It's supposed to be faster. Uh, that would be the flash drive, and no, I don't want to do that. We're going to install from a pre mounted directory. We're going to install from slash USB. this is now the guide here the welcome windows user guide only covers uh, slackware 13 but I applied this to 13.1 so there it is isn't that nice? So we're going to go ahead and install everything except the international, yeah. Uh, I don't have the source. This this flash drive's only 4 gigs, and I, I just didn't really. I, I felt I could get the sources installed later when I have an internet connection and it's all installed and everything. I can deal with that. So I don't, you know, it's not that important to have the sources at this time. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that I want to install. And uh, at this point, um, it's not, it's five, wow, it's a, oh, uncompressed, right, five points, because it's all a bunch of tar, tar balls. So it, it's going to run its course overnight. At the end of the install, when it's all, I'm not going to like, because it's going to take hours probably on this flash. Remember how slow it took to load. It's going to take a long time, probably overnight. By morning it'll be done. And then at that time, um, I'm going to, make a video of configuring everything beyond installing it which is like setting up the network the host name uh, the root password which I can't share with you sorry um, yeah that's pretty much it so we're just gonna do the full install and then you'll see that, that it just goes by the packages and it just goes through it's gonna be hell well, it's not not too bad but it's it's going to be running, because keep in mind, this is a slow computer, so it has to gra extract them from that, and then it has to, like, it's 800 megahertz, so, I mean, it's just going to, like, it's not, you know, on a fast computer, it'd be, like, buzzing through this, like, like a, it'd just be cut through this, like, a saw on wood, you know, but, <laughs> so, okay, that's my video, um, there's a few packages, you know, and we got a few more minutes, so. It's installing the base base system. You know, the Getty, 
yep, very important critical things to a Linux system. But anyways, that's that. Good night.